Let me show you how to enable and use 8K Video Boost feature on the Pixel 10 Pro, 9 Pro and also 8 Pro. So when it comes to regular pixels we actually can't get this feature so it's available only on the 10 Pro and also Excel version as well, also 9 Pro and also 8 Pro, only on these three phones essentially. So to enable it we simply have to go in the camera app, switch to the video mode and in the settings you simply have to enable it 8K over here and then once you record it basically this uh, yeah basically video boosted file will also essentially get recorded when it comes to negatives however as you see if I actually exit the app basically every time you actually go to record a video every time you have to actually manually enable this 8K which is a bit ridiculous also for this function to work in your Google Photos app, you also have to enable the backup. So essentially what this phone does, it actually doesn't process the video on the phone itself, it actually uploads to the Google servers. And again, we actually have to enable the backup function in the Google Photos app. Uh, also, this obviously will take up the available sta uh, space on your Google Drive, so on your Google Storage. So by default, if you aren't paying, you're only getting 15 gigabytes. So it's pretty much like, pretty much like unusable in my opinion, if you actually do not subscribe to the uh, basically, yeah, paid stuff so essentially. So uh, essentially like two minute video actually takes up 3.6 gigabytes of space. So if you get 15 gigabytes for free, you can see, yeah, it actually doesn't take much to fill up pretty much your whole space. And yeah, basically if you actually do not pay for the service, this uh, feature isn't very useful at all. And the video record basically in the boosted format will basically have this sign over here. And essentially, uh, so after this video gets uploaded to the Google Cloud, essentially it will get processed. And this process usually takes actually quite a long time. So if your video is uh, short, maybe like one or two minutes, it might take several hours. But if it's uh, maybe longer, maybe like 10 minutes almost, then it might take even sometimes up to a day. Also this time before the video gets returned to you, also sometimes differ basically maybe uh, how loaded the Google servers are and how many videos uh, from other people they have to process, I guess. So again, it's not like constant, but again, usually it's a very, very long process. Also, if you are wondering if you can use this feature uh, without enabling the backup basically on your Google Photos, so if you do not want to pay for the service, then if you actually look closely, you can kind of like upload only one video, but in reality, when I actually tried this feature, I actually never got like fully working back video, so without actually enabling this uh, backup function. So again, you have to actually enable backup function, so I haven't found any like real way how you could actually get the video back. So again, without having to, yeah, basically uh, pay essentially for the service, but again, as again, the free stuff really <laughs> isn't, isn't usable basically for this feature. Also, when you record these videos, you have a 10 minute time limit as well for each video essentially. So if you want to record uh, like a longer video in this 8K resolution essentially, so the boosted one, you will basically have to stop the video before the 10 minute mark and then simply start another video. Uh, otherwise, again, this it won't actually get processed for the video boost. But yeah, basically, if everything is okay, after some time, essentially, in your Google Photos, you will actually see a, a new video near the original video that will be the boosted file. And overall, is the video boost feature actually uh, worth it on these Pixel phones? Well, in my opinion, nope, it's actually totally not worth it due to the way it simply like works. So if basically these uh, videos would be processed on the phone itself, definitely I think it's actually a very good feature, but due to the way it's actually built, in my opinion, it's completely unusable and actually not like using. So again, it takes insanely long time to usually to put the process. Again, also like fills up like your storage basically very fast. So again, uh, if you have maybe like 128 gigabytes on your pixel in the base storage again, so literally maybe like a bit over half an hour and all, all your storage basically is gone when you actually use this feature. So in my opinion really, so this is completely unusable gimmick. So yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, good luck.